Okay. Do, do. Let's see. Hopefully we don't have any issues today. Hi, Steph. How are you? Hi, Cindy. Good to see you. Got my coffee. Oh no, Cindy. Oh. Hi, June. Oh, thank you, Cindy. Okay. What is going on? Okay. Let me see. Something. Let me see here. I think I was looking at the wrong live. <laughs> I think I was looking at last week's live. Because I'm like, I think those are comments from last week. There we go. All right, so we have Steph, we have Cindy. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Okay, so I got my coffee. Hello, Renee. How is everybody doing tonight? So my tablet's not telling me how many people are here, but on my phone, I can see four people. Yeah, I I um I clicked on the wrong live on my tablet. <laughs> okay, so I can see comments, so that's good. And I got my coffee, I got my supper into me. So hello Susan. So I have all my pieces prepped for my first card, and I have my Pieces prepped for my second card, and that's as far as I got today. Hi, Paula. It's good to see everybody. Thank you for coming. Okay, so we're going to be using um, for this card, we are using the uh, my die cuts are in the way. I believe they're these are the Pierce, Pierce Bloom dies. Pierce Blooms dies. I'm doing very well. I hope everybody is doing good. It was a slow day at work, so which was kind of nice because um, usually it's busy, but I'll take a slow day any day. Okay, so. I took, I have a piece of basic white, four by five and a quarter. And then I cut a strip of the, um, this is from the Hydrangea Haven uh, designer series paper. And I just cut um, little strips. I believe these are half an inch, or are they three quarters of an inch? Just hold on a sec here. I'm just gonna double check. So these are three quarters of an inch high and they're six inches long but then I'm going to cut these down. And I have half an inch of basic white, that's going to be for my sentiment. And that might be an extra piece. I cut out, I believe this is Mossy Meadows, I cut out three leaves. I cut out a white flower, Highland Heather flower, and then two balmy blue centers. And then I have a vellum square because I have 24 of these and I think I've only used like maybe two. So I wanted to use that. I also have, uh, this is gorgeous grape, four and a quarter by 11, scored a five and a half, and I ran it through my tasteful textiles embossing folder. So those are all my pieces. And it's gonna be an easy card, quick and easy. And I'm just gonna glue this to my card center. 
So yeah, you're getting ready for for bed stuff. Yeah, it's after ten where where you are. So I think what I'm going to do is um, I usually work one to five on Mondays. So I think I'm going to try to prep at least one to two cards because my lives end up being like two hours long and I only get like three cards done. So I got to try to scale it back a little bit, make it a little bit quicker for y'all. But a lot of that's from me chatting too, right? Okay, so I'm going to glue this in the center. Hi, Hannah. You're still at work? What are you doing here then? You're supposed to be at Oh, are you still on your lunch break? What time is it? It's after 6. Oh, you're in the smoke shop, aren't you? Okay. You're allowed then. Nice to see you. Say hi to everybody. This is Hannah, my co-worker, one of my co-workers. It's probably slow. It was slow at work today anyway, I, I thought. But I was glad to get out of there. Glad to get out of there. Okay, oh, I'm getting glue everywhere. So I'm just going to leave that open because if I if I close my card that's going to that's going to get glued down. You're trying to pass the time quickly. Well, you're in a good spot. Where is my I'm just looking for my glue eraser. I got glue where I did where I don't want it. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'm not using the stamp set from this bundle. I'm just using the the dies. Okay, so the front, what I was thinking was, okay, so I was going to put, green on the top, and then this one in the middle, and I'm going to cut them at different lengths. And I think I'm going to bring them over here a little bit. And my sentiment I'll do last. Because I want my vellum square here. Actually, I think I might put that down first. My vellum square. So I'm just going to grab some tear and tape because I'm going to have my paper and flowers on top of this so you're not going to see so I'm just going to put a strip of Terra tape right in the center Like that. And that, that's not going to go anywhere. That's going to hold that in spot. So I'm just trying to figure out where I want all my layers. Because I'm going to have them overlapping. And... I'm just gonna 
cut these down to different lengths. So this one I'm gonna make a little bit longer. And then maybe this one I'll have back in a little bit. Now before I glue these down, I'm just going to play around with my flowers too. Oh, my Timmy's is so good. And then... I'm gonna add, I wanna add like a skinny sentiment and I think I'm gonna, I'll probably pop this up. And so I need a long skinny sentiment. I definitely don't wanna do Happy Father's Day because that ain't gonna work. Hi June. You're drinking your Gavalia coffee? I don't even know what that is. Don't even know what that is. Um, how about thinking of you? We'll do that one. So I'm just gonna grab a block. So your kitchen is done, Steph. Now I'm just gonna try to mount this straight so when I stamp it. And I think I'm gonna do the sentiment in Mossy Meadows. Hi Maureen. And I'm gonna grab my banners pick a punch. Oh, it's all, it's all good. I know what you're trying to say. It's a delicious brand of coffee. You used to only get it by mail, but store sell it now. It's smooth and silky. Sounds delicious. Okay. So we're going to stamp Thinking of You, and this is from The Beauty of Friendship. Because I was just looking for like a, a long, skinny sentiment. A little crooked so I was a flipping it over it's hard to get it straight when you got a phone over your head filming hi Carrie how are you ah that's good I'm okay with that hi Vicki okay so I think we're ready to piece this card together here and I'm just gonna Trim this down a little bit, and then I'm going to put it in my banners pick a punch. And I'll trim this depending on where I want it on my card. How much do I sell the cards for? Um, honestly. I, I had them for sale at my farmer's markets for $5 and they weren't selling very much so I lowered them to 4 and they started selling so I sell them for $4 um, if it's a shaker card I'll sell it for 5 because there's a lot more work into a shaker card so $4 is the price of my cards okay so I already glued the inside piece. And I'm going to glue my centers to my flowers. What is that in US dollars? Well, $4, $4 Canadian because I live in Canada. I don't know, it's probably 
it's cheaper because our, our dollars not not worth as much as the US dollar it is worth it well you know what if, if I can sell my cards for four dollars and and whatever money I make off of selling my cards I just put back into buying Stampin up stuff that helps keep my YouTube channel going which makes me happy because I love Stampin' Up! So, um, if, if my hobby can pay for, for itself, then you know what? I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Okay, so. So, I think I'm going to... Start gluing these down, and then I have these two pieces here, and then I got my leaves. Okay. okay. Did I say hi to you, Hildy? I can't remember if I did or not. Sorry. I got a good memory, it's just really, really, really short. You know what? I'm kind of thinking that I didn't even need to buy the stamp set that goes with these dies because I haven't even used this, the stamps yet. Like, I just, I love the dies. Like, they're so pretty. And the only really active paper I have left is from the Hydrangea Haven, so that's why I'm using that. Uh, you're probably going to see me use retired paper only because I, I haven't gotten much out of the new annual catalog yet because um, honestly I haven't made that much money since uh, the catalog went live because my farmers markets are still shut down right now so I haven't done a market in probably a month so I'm hoping if we can get our cases back down, that um, the markets will open up again, and then I can start making a little bit of money because I need I need money for stamping up. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my dimensionals. So I'm gonna pop up my sentiment. How do you pronounce your name? I don't want to butcher it. P-E-N-N-E. -N -N -E. Can you type it? How it's pronounced? I don't like butchering people's names. Okay, so I think I'm going to put a flower down here. I think I'm going to... I'm going to glue this flower down. And I'll probably pop one up. Pen key? Penny. Oh, Penny! Penny. Okay. Thank you. That helps me. Pen key. <laughs> penny. Okay. Penny. So kind of like P-E-N-N-Y, but just spelled differently. Okay. So these leaves, I'm just going to kind of stick in underneath. I'll glue them down because I'm going to pop my flower up. Okay, so just before Mother's Day, I'm working at the self-checkouts, right? I work in a grocery store, for those of you who don't know. And this guy comes up to the self-checkout. All he has is one Mother's Day card. $10.99. I had, like, the worst case of shell shock. I wanted to whisper to him, I sell my cards for $4.00. <laughs> But, of course, I can't do that, right? Because that would be wrong. Okay, so this one I'm going to put there like that. And this flower is going to be raised. It's ridiculous. $10.99 for a mass-produced card that comes off an assembly line. 
Like, it's ridiculous. So, support me and buy my cards. Because all I'm going to do is just turn around and buy more Stampin' Up! stuff. I have a couple girls at work that buy my cards. I know. And I honestly don't care if my cards get thrown in the garbage. I really don't. My dad, I've been making cards for, oh gosh, since 2008. So 13 years. I've been making cards for 13 years. And my dad has every single card that I ever made him. Okay, so I think I'm just thinking. I might change where I'm going to put the sentiment. So I'm going to change my mind where I'm going to put it. Well, I tried to sell them for five and they didn't sell, so I lowered, lowered them to four and then they started selling. So you just got to find the right price for your your um your area you know what i mean like in in like in the city they probably would sell for a little bit more but um the community that i live in um i guess they don't want to pay five dollars for a card but yeah i i, I couldn't believe it 10.99 i was just like <gasps> And, like, I can't remember the last time I bought a card. Because, like I said, I've been making them for quite a while, so. Thank you, Hannah. You're so sweet. So, I do a Facebook Live, Hannah, every Monday night. You're probably usually out in the smoke shop, are you? Every Monday night? Okay. I think I'm going to put my sentiment right about there and I'm gonna pop up my flower I could I could try 450 but I'll keep it at four for now Okay, so this I'm just gonna put right there and voila there's card number one. Oh, I think I might add a little bit of um, Wink of Stella to my You're out you're out in the smoke shop every Monday night. Oh, well, I'm glad I can keep you entertained My pleasure My pleasure, okay so there's card number one. Isn't it pretty? And I actually kind of cased this out of the new annual catalog. I just changed it a little bit. I changed, uh, they used the pansy patch and I, I used the Pierce Bloom dies. Okay, so card number two. I'm just gonna set that aside. We'll bring all the cards back at the end. Okay, so, oh, what did I do with, I thought I had some, I thought I had some vellum pre-cut, oh yes I do, right here, okay, so we're going to do, this is, well, I played around with it earlier today, just because I wanted to make sure it worked before I did it in a live tonight, um, so I have some, copy paper and I have some more scrap paper and this is a piece of our Stampin' Up! Um, vellum and we're going to do the alcohol and we're going to use the Stampin' Up! lens and this is all over YouTube like pretty much everybody's done it I'm late to the party what else is new so I have 99% alcohol and I'm just gonna put a little bit of this I just have a little shot glass here 
And you don't need much. You only need a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to bring in some paper towel as well because I've got to protect my poster board. Hi, Gina! Well, my week of Stella did run out. I just added it, I just added water to it, and I'm on my second go, my go, go around, because I didn't have alcohol at the time. Okay, so, I have my alcohol in my little shot glass. I have a little paintbrush here. Don't get your shot glasses mixed up. I don't, I don't drink June, so it's all good. I also have this shot glass that my Tombow sits in. Go, leaves, go. Go, leaves, go. Okay, I had to get that in there. Okay, so I'm going to do very subtle colors because I don't want it to be too bold for... You'll see. I'm not going to... I, I put a little hint on my Facebook page earlier. So those of you who follow me on my Facebook page, you probably know what I'm going to end up doing, but... If you don't, then it'll be a surprise. Okay, so I have uh, dark petal pink. I have light Highland Heather. And I have light flirty flamingo. I do have the dark Highland Heather, but I don't think I'm going to use that. I think I'm just going to stick with, with the lights because I want this to be a very subtle um subtle and this is so much fun and like I said like there's so many people on YouTube that have done this but I actually watched Tina Zink do this on YouTube and she's from Nova Scotia too so I want to give Tina a shout out love your channel okay so basically you just take your um, piece of vellum this is a quarter sheet so four and a quarter by five and a half. Thank you, Hildy. It's just glitter, glitter nail polish. Um, I like this tip here. And you just wanna sporadically go over your vellum, over the whole thing with your different colors. And I don't know how well you can see this because I got, I got a busy scrap piece because I was playing around earlier. Okay, so Highland Heather. You watch Tina's videos too? She's amazing. Amazing. Oh, there's a lot of people I follow on, on YouTube. Okay. So you, you just basically want to fill up um, your whole sheet of um, vellum here. And so, I'm going to do petal pink. Okay. I might actually uh, remove this because I want you guys to see what I see. Okay. So, oh, I missed a little spot here. So I'm just going to fill this in with Flirty Flamingo. And there's little bits of white gaps here. That, that's okay. That's okay. Tina Zink. Yeah. I think it's Z-I-N-C. Um, so I have my little shot glass of 99% alcohol. I got my paintbrush. So just... Dip it in, and then just start tapping. And if the darker the colors, the more you'll you'll see the reaction. So maybe after we make this, um, I'll uh, I'll show you this in different colors before we make this card. But see, isn't that cool? I think that is so cool. So 
so neat. Okay, so I'm going to move this off to the side because, um, okay, so I'm just, I have my heat tool here and it's going to get loud for a second. Um, cause I want to, I want to speed this process up and I want to dry it. Isn't that cool? And then when you put it on your card, you want to use the opposite side that you worked on. But how cool is that? I did do another one earlier. What did I do with it? And I'll just show you. This was done with the darks. Dark flirty flamingo, a dark holland heather. I think I used balmy blue too. And you can see that's a little bit more vibrant. But isn't that cool? And then you can change it up like that's what it looks like on white. But you can also change it by putting it on different different colored card stocks. Isn't that cool? I just think that is so cool. So you can make your own background paper. It's so pretty. Um, it should work with Copic Markers June because they're alcohol, they're alcohol based as well. Okay, so um, the next thing you want to do is flip your paper over. Okay, so that's the side that I colored on, and you want you you just want to flip it over. And I have a piece of basic white. Um, roughly the same size, okay? I mean, we can try it later if you want, June. Um, maybe after we get this card together, I'll try it with Copics just to see. But it should work. Should. Okay, so I have my peony dies. And we want the four pieces that make the flower. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're just gonna go over to my die cutting machine and we're gonna cut this out. So I have my vellum stacked on top of um, basic white. Throw your plates all over the floor. Okay, so now we have four pieces of the um, peony flower. And I'm gonna, I mean, I did make one ahead of time and this is what it looks like. Woohoo, I have 12 people watching, yay. So I'm also show you how to put these together, right? Why not? Okay, so I just um, took some tear and tape. Actually, glue dots might be faster. Let me grab my glue dots. Thank you, June. Thank you, Hildy. Thank you, Paula. Okay, so we'll put this, um, 
we'll put this flower together and we'll use the one we'll use this one because I already did another step um, for the other card so so basically I just took my vellum layers whoops and you just want to kind of secure your vellum to the and you want it lined up exactly exactly but you could you could you could do this with like your pierce bloom dies like you could do this with anything and it would look amazing you just got the peony set yeah I got this last year and I've only used it a couple times it's gonna be a while before I can order anything else I gotta get back to my my markets and start making some money okay so so you just want to glue glue all your vellum pieces to your flower And I honestly think glue dots is the easiest, quickest way to go. Okay, so one there. And, and I add about two per, per flower. And then I take my smallest piece and I put it in my next size up piece. And all of these have the same curve. And I think I'm going to use Tombow for this one. Because I'll, I'll, it'll be set aside to dry. So just line up all your, your bottom pieces there. course I'm getting glue everywhere okay oh my god that's way too much glue okay okay so that's gonna be set aside to dry but there is your flower isn't that pretty So I'm just going to put this aside and we'll use the one that I made earlier. So basically, I have all my pieces here. So I have a So Saffron card base, four and a quarter by 11, score to five and a half. Piece of basic white, four by five and a quarter. And I just had a leftover strip of vellum that I cut off so that can go on the inside of my card. I did the same exact technique that I did with my flower. Even though it looks different, I did. I used the same blends. But anyway, I have um, a stitch rectangle in white. The next size down I just cut out the vellum piece. And the piece I cut off here is going to go on the inside. I have a piece of Highland Heather. And I cut out um, from the Hippo and Dyes. I cut out the, uh, the largest. The largest die I cut out. And then I ran that through my Tasteful Textiles embossing folder. And I this this matched the paper so nice that this is from the Playing With Patterns No Longer Available 
but I'm bringing it in because it, it just looks so nice. And then the Pierce Bloom dies, I just cut out some leaves in Pear Pizzazz. And then I have a stitch rectangle that we're going to do the sentiment on. And the sentiment is going to be, um, what did I do with it? It's going to be, happy birthday to you. Okay, so... And I have not used this yet. So it's very sticky. Okay, I need a, another block here. And I think this would look nice stamped in... Do you think I should do... Pear Pizzazz or Highland Heather? What do you think? I'll let you guys decide. Oh, sorry to hear that, Steph. Pear Pizzazz? Okay, I'll go grab my Pear Pizzazz. Everybody's saying pear pizzazz? Okay. Pear pizzazz it is then. Okay, so. And we're just going to do happy birthday to you. Hopefully I get that straight. And it looks pretty good to me. You go right ahead and case my cart, Paula. Okay, so we pretty much got all of our elements ready to go. So, I'm not going to get this out of the way. I don't think I need that right now. You are very welcome. I think this for this card, I'm going to run it up and oh wait how am I gonna do this because I don't want the um, I don't want the vellum to show so and if I do glue dots and tear and tape that might show up I think um, do I have a sponge somewhere I might have to add this after my live is over because I think what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of Tombow down sponge, sponge the glue on and then add it that way because I don't, I don't want to see the glue through the vellum. So I'll probably have to do that. And I got a glue burger because my glue's not coming out. Now, technically, this should be a $5 card, but some lucky person will get it for $4. Okay, so now I'm going to glue my white piece down. Thank you, Steph. I appreciate you guys all coming. You know, you work, well, I didn't work all day. I only worked four hours, but you know what? It can be a stressful place to work with this 
virus going on. So it's nice to be able to come here and chat with y'all. Okay, so I have, this is going to go right about here. So I'm going to add a couple strips of my tear and tape because it's going to get covered. So I don't have to worry if it uh, okay. oh what's that I gotta get that off Looks like a I don't know what that is, but will it be covered? It will be covered, so I don't gotta worry about it. Okay. Cause see you can see that tear and tape underneath. And I think I'm gonna add tear and tape to this too. Oh, actually, we can do Tombow. Let's do Tombow. It might slide around on the vellum, but it'll dry eventually. Oh, you're in Alberta, Gina. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm in Nova Scotia. And it was under control for the longest time. And then it just, yeah. Somebody visited our province and didn't isolate, and now we're in a fine mess right now. But I'm hoping the numbers start going back down because being in isolation is no fun. Oh, shoot. I think I wanted to put this under here first. So I'm just going to lift that up. I got distracted and I was talking, so... So, and I'm just going to add a little bit more glue here. And I'm going to add some tear and tape under here because that needs to be put down. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I mean. We got rid of our cable, so I don't feel like I'm in too much touch with the rest of Canada, but I have quite a few um, Facebook friends that are in Alberta, so I, I mean, I, I, I do see what's going on that way, right? It's just awful. Okay, so my sentiment, I think I'm going to add that last. So I want my flower right about here. Oh, I have my window open, sorry guys. Cause uh, I found the uh, rubbing alcohol was just a little smelly. Um, I think I'm just gonna glue my flower down I think I'm going to add some mini, mini dimensionals in here just to give it a little bit of oomph. My niece's birthday was yesterday and I didn't get to see her. It's, it's really tough. So I FaceTimed with her. You know, it's, it's not the same. It's not the same. But she's so stinking cute. Okay, so I'm just adding some little mini dimensionals in my in my flower layers just so it'll be lifted up a little bit. Give it a little bit of dimension. Uh, 
and it'll help keep your um, your petals together too as well this is so pretty I don't know do I wanna I don't think I'm I don't think I'm gonna yeah I don't think I'm gonna pop that up because there's so much dimension going on and then I'm gonna pop up my sentiment I think so I think for the leaves I'm just gonna I'm just gonna glue them down I think I'm just going to do three leaves and then the sentiment will will pop up so I got to glue my leaves down first um I watched I watched a YouTube video I think it was Kali Bertucci that I seen um put the peony flower together. Um, I watched the video before I did it, but it, it, it's very easy. It's just the four pieces and you, one just slides into the other. I'm just gonna do three leaves. Okay. Now the flower I'm just gonna glue down. And I'm adding quite a bit because it's going on a textured um, cardstock. Fiftieth wedding anniversary! Congratulations! little bit of glue just gonna grab my glue eraser but isn't that pretty and I don't know why this this vellum piece looks different than this because I use the same colors but no two is ever going to look alike right Okay, so let's add the sentiment and then I think I might add a couple of embellishments to this one. Maybe. I have those little gold gold metallic pearls, so I might use those. And I need some more dimensionals brought out soon. And I think I'm going to save my edge pieces because I might want to do a shaker card in the near future. And I, I like using the edge pieces for that. Okay, so. okay. My mom and dad, they just um, celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary, but my mom, she has, um, she's got a bad case of dementia, so it, it's been really hard on my dad. Hard seeing him, you know, having to take care of her. I think I might angle this like that. Do something different. All right, Carrie. Thanks for coming. Yeah, it's it's been tough. 
but he has um, he has a little bit of support from the government. So there's a lady that comes once a week to give him a break, you know, so he can go grab a coffee. So I have the metallic gold gold pearls. So I'm just gonna add a couple of those. which I think is perfect because there's little gold dots down here. And that's another card done. What time is it? I got two cards done in the first hour. I think that might be some kind of record, don't you think? So we'll do one more. Because this card will be all winging it up, winging it on the fly. Because I only had two cards prepped um, for this one. Or do you want to try the vellum with Copic markers and see if that works? We can try that too if you like. Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. My goal is gonna be try to prep at least two cards. Um for my Facebook Live. That's what I'm gonna choose. So you want me to try the Copic markers? Why not, right? So let me go grab my Copic markers here. And bring this back. Um what 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 kind of colors do you want me to grab? Thank you everybody. Like, is there certain colors you want to see? Purple. Purple, turquoise, and green. Let's try that. Purple, green, and turquoise. This is going to be like a very vibrant. So these are my three colors. We have teal blue, yellowish green, and amethyst. Now I haven't used my Copics in like forever. But I think this will be pretty. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't matter which side of the vellum you use, I don't think. But I'm pretty sure that this will work. Pretty sure. I tell you, this is so much fun. Like, I, I, I can't wait to do, like, Christmas cards with this. I'm going to go with a lot of teal because it's my favorite color, see? Okay, let's see. Let's see how this looks. Okay, so I bring back my alcohol here. Wow, that's a really bright green. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Yeah, it's going to work. It is working. So I'm just going to grab my heat gun. Because with the heat gun, it dries really, really fast. So 
So, so there is that, but if say you weren't happy with this spot right here, you could come back in and add more color to where you want. And then hit it again. And then if you wanted to add like little droplets, you could go like that. And then you get all these little water spots, which is kind of cool too. If I had a little spray bottle, I would fill that with alcohol too. And I would just spritz it. That would probably give you a different effect too, right? It's, it's so much fun. You know what I want to try? Um, let me see if I have some here. Oh, I might not be able to try it because I don't know where my stays on ink is. That is so cool. You gotta try it. You will love it. You will be addicted. But look at that. Isn't that cool? You could, st I, I would flip it over and stamp on this side, June, if you're gonna stamp on it. Um, I just don't know where my. I have stays on ink somewhere, I just don't know where it is. Um, I don't, it must be in my other room, I'm thinking. Because I was going to stamp, um, I was going to stamp a dragonfly or something. And punch it out and see what that looked like. But, you know what we could do? Is, we could... Oh, my, vo my voice is not relaxing, Steph. Um, let's see. Okay, I have some, I believe I have some black. I have black embossing powder. I want to try something. It may work and it may not. Um, but we're going to find out together. Okay. We're going to find out together. I'm going to grab a dragonfly with the dark body. I don't mind stays on. I mean, it does um, stain your stamps, but if, if you clean them off right away, it's not too bad. I have stays on cleaner somewhere. Okay, so I th I'm gonna try embossing this in black, and I'm gonna do it on the opposite side that I um, I flipped my vellum over is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So I'm going to grab my embossing buddy. And I have not tried this before, so I have no idea if it's going to work. No idea. But we're going to about to find out here. And this is not Stampin' Up! because I don't have Stampin' Up! in black. Oh, 
Oh, it might work. It might work. Okay, so. Now, I don't know how much of the um, undercolor you're going to see because there's a lot of detail in his wings. So, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. I'm just playing around here. going to let this dry a little bit before I try to uh, punch it out but it's very I don't know if you can see that on camera it's very very glossy but you know I don't think you're going to see as much of the different colors underneath just because there's so much black in his wings but you know what I was trying to do right I was trying to We'll punch it out and we'll see. Okay, I should be able to punch this out now. Actually, I'm gonna... Because I want to save as much as this as I can. It's really hard to see. Let me see. I'm going to put a, a piece of white under him. It could be just the colors we use too, right? But I was hoping for a more um, being able to see the, the vibrant colors. Um, but you know what you could do? You could flip it over and you could add... You could add some color to the back of him. Hi, Gail. So let's just, because this is the side that we put the color on anyway, so we could just go on the back side and add some more colors. It's really hard to see. And then you can run like, you could run a little bit of Wink of Stella on top of him too, I'm thinking. Let's try it. Why not? Okay. So I think for the Dragonfly, it might be better to do... Um, like really, really bright colors because I think that would show up better if you use really bright colors. But you can kind of see. Like, I don't know. It's just not the effect that I thought it was going to have. But, with, if you use, um, really, because, I mean, these were bright. I mean, I think these were really bright. But when the alcohol mixes with it, it does lighten up a little bit. But, yeah. I mean, it's still pretty cool. I mean, you can, you can see the different colors. I mean, you can, you can kind of see it, like, on the white. I might save him for a card. You, you never know. Okay, let's see. Let's 
so I kind of have another card prepped. Sorta, sorta. Put him on a, on what? Like what color? Cause this is, uh, where did the piece go that I took him from? Oh my gosh, I just had it. What did I do with it? Oh, it's over here. So I used, I used the green, I used green, teal, and purple is what I used. But I did him in black and I flipped it over and then I heat embossed him with black thinking that you would see the different colors under his wing. Which color piece? This one? This one? On the blue? Maybe you guys are seeing something that I don't. I don't know. Or we could try uh, a piece of Costa Cabana maybe. I don't know. What color piece? On this piece? <laughs> or, or this one? <laughs> okay, so you like him on that? Okay, you guys are seeing something that I don't because So do you want me to make a card with this? Because we can save this for next week if you want. We'll save, we'll save this one for next week. I have an idea for this one. And this one I used Old Olive and Night of Navy. But that looks kind of cool too, right? We can save that one for next week. Okay, so. Whoops. Oh, I got pieces flying everywhere. So. Um, the only tealish kind of pap paper I have is Coastal Cabana, so that'll work. Um, we have Pear Pizzazz. So maybe we'll do a card base with the Pear Pizzazz. Or we'll do this and I don't know. We'll... This is me winging it on the fly on the third card because the other two I had prepped. And then I think we have to bring in a purple because we have purple going on too. So we'll probably do... Which do you like better? Gorgeous Grape or Holland Heather? Okay, staff, have a great evening. Gorgeous grape? Okay, we'll do gorgeous grape. Okay. Okay, so. So, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Oh, that's got, um, that's got a big old line through it. Okay, so. So we have this piece here. Um, and it's going to look different depending on um, which colored cardstock you put it on, to, right? I think I kind of like it on this color. So, let me grab my rectangle dies. You like the green? All right, I'll take a vote. I'll pick whatever the majority of the vote is. Because I'm just going to do, uh, I'm just going to do the, the rectangle 
layers. I think that would be the easiest way to do it. Okay, so. So it's going to have to be this one because this is the one that fits. So we have one for green, one for gorgeous grape. The darker color makes it pop. Coastal Cabana, Gorgeous Grape. So we have one for green, one for Gorgeous Grape, and one for Coastal Cabana. So the next person will be the tiebreaker. And I'll have a sip of my coffee while you guys are... I kind of like the Coastal Cabana just because it's kind of my favorite color. Okay, so we have two for Gorgeous Grape. So guess what? <laughs> Gail. Okay. So the next size up, I'm going to cut out this. And then the next size up, I'll cut out. I got my new border dies that I haven't really got into yet either. Okay, so we have that, we have that. So I think I'm gonna make the card base, uh, Coastal Cabana, because this is gonna be a bright card, y'all. Oh, it's gonna pop all right. It's a gonna pop. Okay, we're winging it on the fly. Ooh, I have this, this too. So, um, let's go. Nope, I want to go bigger than that. I'm gonna cut this out in pear pizzazz, and then we might do something with one of the border dies. Because I haven't really used those yet. Let me grab my border dies. This is gonna go there like that. I thought it would be kind of cute to do some kind of border. What do you think? Yeah, and this technique's been around for a while. It's just kind of getting a revamp, I think. Um. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to run it through again. 
like that. Hi, Melanie. Come here, Sadie. Okay, I'm gonna try to, to line this up so that it's even on both sides, but. So we kind of have that. And then we have our dragonfly. I feel like I might have to put him on something though. What do you think? Or do you like him just kind of glued, glued right to the... And look, his wings are already curled on their own. I didn't even have to curl his wings. Pop him up? Yeah, I could probably pop him up. Now I gotta think of a sentiment too. Um, I think I wanna do this sentiment again. Happy birthday to you. Do you think I should, um, I don't think I want to do, I don't think I can bring in white at this point. Emboss the sentiment in black on the vellum. Like maybe down here or right in the middle on the bottom. Let's do it. Okay, where's my scrap piece of paper? So I need my embossing buddy back. And I need my Versa Mark. And happy birthday to you. And I need my black powder again. in here. Okay. And my heat gun's coming back in so it's going to get loud again for a second. Thank you Gina. Um... 
you like it just like that? Oops, look at that piece, a little crooked. I think I need to um, emboss this card base, so. It needs a little bit of texture, I think. I don't know, this, this green piece is throwing me off a little bit. I think it just needs maybe a little bit of stamping or something. Um, it just needs something. Just give me a second, I'm gonna think about what I wanna put on it. What about some of these little bugs or butterflies? like in the same color and, and pear pizzazz, just like tone on tone. I'm gonna try it. I don't like it that I don't like it, but I just feel like it needs something. So I really only need it like on the outer edges, I guess. This needs a little something. It's just missing something. Yeah, this, this is from the new um, basic border dies. And I'm going to try cutting this uh, cloud out and like making a scene or something. I think that would be kind, kind of fun. I think that looks a little better. It just needed something. It was, I don't know. I, I can't explain it. I just felt like that green piece was too... Do you like that? And I am going to need a piece of white for the inside of my card as well. I'm just you don't care for the green I kind of like the green
four by five and a quarter. This is for the inside. Put white behind the vellum, like a white piece instead of the purple. Because I can cut out a white rectangle. Does that look better? So what I'll do is I'll cut out this with the same size that I cut the vellum piece out. Okay, so now I gotta find that rectangle. And I can still keep my purple. Okay. That might look better. We'll try that. I just gotta find my rectangle die that I used on the, the vellum. And I go through this every week. I really do. That's too big. That's too big. Where did you go? Oh, I think this is it right here. Okay. Okay, so there's gonna be a lot of layers to this card. So this is gonna go on here like that. So we're putting this on white, which is going on the purple, which is going on the green, which is going on the Coastal Cabana. Okay. And my dragonfly, right about there. Okay, I, what do you think? No, I, I actually like it on the white, I think. I think the colors show up better with the white in behind. I think that is good. Okay. So this is going to slide off here. I'm going to glue my white piece in here. And I would like to add, I'm, I'm going to add this later, this little strip, because what I want to do is I want to sponge. I want to sponge glue on this. Um, and I don't have any cut up sponges in my room. Okay. So I will sponge this on later and then glue this in. Because if I use glue dots or tear and tape, it's going to show. So the inside I will finish later. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this. I like those little butterfly bugs or whatever. Well, it helped that I had the first two cards prepped. I'm going to try to start doing that because I usually work one to five on Mondays. So I can, I can get a little bit of prepping done in the morning before I go to work.
And we'll see how that goes. I mean, this card, we totally winged it on the fly. But, but I like to do that too, right? I like to wing it on the fly, so. So if I can prep two cards and then the third card will wing it, then... This is kind of messy on the back, but you're not going to see it. It's going to get covered. And it's pretty much exactly the same size, so... I might have to add so I think I'm gonna you said to pop the dragonfly up right it's so much fun June you gotta try it it really is like it's like, I can't wait to try red and green. Because I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So, I'm going to put one glue dot kind of in the middle of the dragonfly. And just kind of put him right in the middle. And then I'm going to add a glue dot behind that. I don't know, that, that might not be enough. White, yeah. I like it with the white. I think we might have to add a couple of, of um, embellishments so that I can add some more glue dots because one I don't think one glue dot's going to cut it. So um I don't have a lot of colored embellishments. What do you think? Do you like the black? Or should I do purple? I think I like the purple. Yeah, I think yeah, I think black would be too much. Okay. So, and I'm doing this so I can add a couple more glue dots cuz it needs a little bit more. And I'm just putting the glue dot right behind the embellishment and then I'm pushing down. And I think I can put another one right under where the dragonfly is. And that's probably good enough. I got four glue dots on there.
That should be good. So that one turned out kind of pretty, right? Okay, I'm just gonna, oops, try to clean a little bit of this mess up I got going on and then we'll bring in the other two cards and do a quick recap. Put my embellishments away. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, so you, you take your, your vellum, you color all your different colors, dip your paintbrush in your alcohol, and dab, 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 dab. And then you'll get all the different mixing reactions. When it's dry, flip it over because any work you do to this side won't react with what you did on this side. Okay, so there is card three. Oops. And this one I, I used my Copic markers because I knew, I knew Copic markers would work, but we tried that one. Okay, so card number two. We did the vellum technique with the blends, and then I cut out the peony. I, I put the white under the piece of vellum and cut out four pieces, layered them, and then I did the same colors on this piece. And then I just added some gold metallic pearls. And I'm gonna add a piece of vellum here. I just, I wanna sponge the glue on the back, um, which I think will look better than using glue dots or tape. And then this is the first card that we did. And th this one's pretty simple, but I haven't used these vellum squares, so I wanted to do a card using, using those. And I just used my Pierce Bloom dies. Some of the Hydrangea Haven paper, because that's the only paper I had that's active besides the tree paper that I got. And then the inside, I just put a strip of the designer series paper. You haven't used your vellum squares either? Me neither. I'm lying. I think I have two videos using these. So out of 24, vellum squares this is the third one that I've used so there are the cards I really like I really I love doing this so you'll probably see that every now and again so that is it for tonight thank you it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I, I actually, I think I like this one. And this is the one that we, we winged it on the fly. These two I had prepped. Thank you, Gail. Thank you, June. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. Thank you, Hildy. So get your vellum, get your blends, and get some alcohol and play with your stuff. So we'll do a card next week with this one, and I'm going to use the Whale of a Time um, stamp set for this one. So I sort of have one card prepped for next week. The vellum squares, um, they were part of the... Um, peony sweet, but they're in the new annual catalog and they're just, they're sold by themselves. All right. So I'm going to go veg in front of the TV, I think, and unwind. Um, yeah. 
Have a wonderful evening, everybody. Bye.